What's going on YouTube? Hit him back making another brand new crypto TV episode. Uh, before we jump into today's video, uh, there's a bunch of stuff we do need to discuss, go over, unbox, tons of different things. As you guys know, if you watched yesterday's video, I did just get a brand new camera, the Sony A6400, which means the old one that I was using, which is actually still pretty darn new, this is the Sony A6000, is for sale now. And what that means is I bought this brand new from Best Buy for $600 USD, and I'm gonna be selling it, I'm gonna be letting it go. If any of you guys have an interest in purchasing it, please do feel free to let me know. I am trying to sell this ASAP. I bought it for 600, I would like to sell it for $400. That is $200 off, I do believe that is a fair deal. If any of you guys have an interest, definitely make sure to email me at CryptoTVOfficial at gmail.com or leave a comment down below in the comment section and I will respond back to you. Otherwise, we do have a couple of things to discuss in today's episode. We are going to be discussing um, Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Digibyte to BTC. We will also be discussing a pretty interesting article. I know I didn't go in as depth yesterday on the discussion about Venezuela accepting Litecoin and Bitcoin. So I will be discussing that with you guys today. If any of that sounds interesting to you guys, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up if you like the content and let's jump into today's episode. Also guys, check out this setup that I have going on right now. So this is only a temporary setup. My roommate is letting me borrow this Joby Gorilla Pod as well as this Rode mic, but I will most likely be making the jump and purchasing the mic as well as the Joby uh, for future vlog videos. That makes it so much easier. I will also be getting an attachment for this Rode mic, mainly because uh, when I have it sitting here, I can't flip up the screen. So I'm gonna move this back over here so I'll actually be able to record myself. But otherwise, camera looks beautiful, road might looks beautiful. Let me know down below what you think of the quality and let's get on into the unboxing. All right guys, so before we jump into today's episode, like I said, I do have this box that appeared in my mailbox this morning um, and I'm actually pretty excited. I've been holding this information back from you guys for a very long time now because I didn't want to spoil it. Basically, I just partnered with Ledger. Hopefully a lot of you guys know what Ledger is. You guys have been asking me to review uh, the Ledger Nano and it's finally time to actually do so. So they actually sent me a care package. I've been talking to them and their sales team for quite some time now and we did decide to set up some sort of partnership. So they sent me a care package right now for their Ledger Nano S. They're gonna send me the X version later in, I believe next month or the month following because it is not currently out yet or they're not yet giving it out to people. So there's a bunch of controversy or whatever but eventually they will be sending that to me. I'm probably going to end up making two videos out of this, mainly because I don't want to take so much time just unboxing this because I know you guys really want to see the technical analysis. So I'll probably do a second video, a more in-depth one reviewing all the products, but I want to show you guys at first what it is that they sent me. Now this was from their location in San Francisco, California, which is absolutely awesome. And they sent me this box. So I want to open it up and check out what exactly it is that they sent me. So as you guys can see, they did actually go above and beyond with the things that uh, they gave me. It's pretty awesome. Totally relevant to cryptocurrency. Hopefully you guys are familiar. So the first thing they sent me actually is a brand new, never been opened Ledger Nano S. This is going to be awesome to review for you guys. Definitely one of the number one cryptocurrency uh, hardware wallets that's out there. So it's going to be really cool to make this. I'm going to be doing other videos to compare these to the tons of other cold, uh, cold storage wallets that we have. Uh, they also sent me a Ledger OTG kit on the go cable set. So that's pretty interesting too. And then a uh, huge shout out to Colin O'Connor. Uh, uh, he's the one that actually sent this to me. So this is him. This is his card, just so you guys can see. So shout out to him for setting this up. Awesome guy. And then we also have received a very interesting, so this is the Ledger Nano S limited edition number two. This is gonna be very interesting to unbox. I'm actually not exactly sure what this is, but I will be unboxing it. You can see on the back, they have their Ledger stamp of approval. Pretty awesome. Uh, they also sent, dude, they, they sent me a bunch of stuff, guys. Definitely let me know down below what you think. Uh, so they sent me a portable battery charger, I think. It's actually pretty cool. An engraved or embossed ledger. Uh, I think it's a portable battery pack. So that's actually really cool. Yeah, you plug it in. Uh, it's got a light that shows that you're charging it, but all in all, they did go above and beyond with their little care package they sent to me. 
There's a couple of other things that they did send before we jump into the episode today and discuss uh, Venezuela, but they sent me a whole bunch of pens with Ledger on them. Uh, they sent me all these products right here. Pretty cool. All the Ledger engraved pens. They're stylus too. They really did go be above and beyond. And then lastly, they sent me, this is gonna be super difficult to see, but I'll have it on my laptop. They sent me a Ledger sticker, a couple of Ledger sticker uh, stickers. And then the last thing they sent me was this t-shirt, I believe, by Ledger Company. So as you guys can see, they have the Ledger on. And uh, let's jump into today's episode. So I will see you guys in the next segment. If you guys want to cop any of the Ledger stuff, as you guys know, Ledger is the number one uh, cryptocurrency hardware cold storage wallet on the market. They are huge. Super fortunate that they did partner with me. But if you guys do want access to any of this stuff, if you guys do want to pick up your Ledger Nano S, I know they're uh, coming out with the Ledger Nano X. They should be sending me that soon for review. Uh, and I will be doing an in-depth unboxing video of all of this stuff, as well as tutorials on how to use it. If you want to pick any of this up and keep your cryptocurrency safe, especially in this Bitcoin boom that we're having this Litecoin boom make sure to pick one up guys the link is in my description of this video and future videos from now on uh, awesome company definitely check it out and uh, let's hop into the next segment all right guys so to get into today's like article discussing Venezuela I actually find it quite comical because I did write up an essay for class uh, I was on a current event for my business government and law class and I thought this kind of tied in very well with current events on worldly news so basically I did want to discuss further what exactly is going on with Venezuela and I wanted to read you guys you know what I wrote too uh, it's basically from the daily hodl and I do want it goes a little more in depth like I said about Venezuela that I wasn't able to cover in yesterday's video. I know a lot of you guys had some on and off thoughts as to what I was saying. So this is kind of my approach to things. Let me know what you guys think down below, whether you agree, disagree, answer the questions that I have for you guys. I'd love to hear your feedback. So let me dive in. So my introduction is on March 4th, which was only four, five, six, seven, three days ago. Daily Hodl published an article, Venezuelan government supports Bitcoin and Litecoin payments and launches new crypto remittance platform amidst the crisis. Hopefully you guys are aware of what's going on within Venezuela. If you're not, uh, I will enlighten you in a second. So basically the, the main issue that's going on is as political tensions rise to all time highs, Venezuela is launching government sanctioned cryptocurrency remittance service. The platform will allow users to send Litecoin and Bitcoin. Sounds good, right? Sounds totally fine, but it does go deeper and it does become a bigger issue. So the synopsis or the takeaway is uh, Venezuelans are suffering daily from tons of different problems. U.S. sanctions are taking a toll on Venezuela, political unrest, violent protests, economic collapse, and hyperinflation of their currency. Interesting, very reasonable as to why we should switch to Litecoin and Bitcoin. At the same time, the country's president, Nicolas Maduro, rejects United States convoys and care packages filled with food and medical aid. The Remesas platform, which is a new service from the country's Patriot platform, has created to guarantee financial inclusion along the social protection of the people of Venezuela. Do you agree? Let me know. Under Maduro's socialist regime, Venezuelan children are being killed in the streets. Uh, socialist life in Venezuela is lawless, brutal, and causing an economic collapse. So the interests or the key takeaways, the real you know, core values of this uh, issue and controversy within Venezuela is Patria is this new service controlled by the country's crypto regulator, uh, Sunicrip, or Superintendency of Crypto Assets and Related Activities. Uh, so this will be all be controlled by Maduro, which is a problem. Uh, he will establish a monthly limit. Uh, Remesas is a service of Patria platform that allows you to send remittances uh, to Venezuela's in cryptocurrency to Venezuelan cryptocurrency. So you guys see the issue right now is yes, they are accepting Litecoin and Bitcoin, but it's all going to Madero or Maduro or whatever his name is. He's the one that controls it, which is a problem because he's the core reason why they have a failing economy. And now he's taking control of it. So it says the resources sent will be available to sovereign boulevards or in sovereign boulevards in the Monadero Patria as soon as the transfer is confirmed. It seems like many people within, the Venezuela, within Venezuela found other ways to get money into the country to benefit themselves. Maduro is trying to put a ban on this, similar to what China does. 
As Maduro attempts to use Bitcoin and Litecoin to create his own payment system, Venezuelans are fighting the collapse of their currency by using cryptocurrencies via decentralized platforms, not uh, under government control. So they're trying to find other ways to make money and to get money. I've seen tons of videos of them mining cryptocurrency, you know, in their rooms or in their apartments. This way, the government does not know what they're doing. And they're also uh, creating or sending cryptocurrency like one in Bitcoin via different uh, exchanges online. You can see the volume in Venezuela for Litecoin and Bitcoin are huge, which could be the indirect lead or reason why we're seeing Litecoin pump so high. So the arbitrators is basically Maduro. Maduro employs different strategies to maintain his power. Uh, his critics accuse him of genocide, as you guys should hopefully know. Retaliation is everywhere, and there will be Venezuelan blood in the streets, which I have currently seen on Twitter and all other different social media outlets. So my question for you guys, the key point that I'm trying to make is what would you guys do if you were in charge of Venezuela and what sort of government would you have? As we know, Venezuela is pretty much a socialist society and a socialist economy, which is unfortunately or not unfortunately, which seems to be how some people are believing or it seems to be coming quite popular within the United States. Uh, I am not a Democrat, nor am I a Republican. I am in the middle. I do not agree or disagree with anything said, and I don't want to uh, get into politics with you guys. But I do want to know what you guys opinions are on this because the Democrats seemingly are getting more and more involved with a socialist society and socialist platform. For the United States, we clearly have seen what has happened with socialist societies in Venezuela. How do you think, how can you guys change this? What do you think they're going to do? What would you guys do if you were uh, the leader, you know, if you were Maduro uh, or you weren't Maduro, but you were in his title, how would you guys help Venezuela? As well as what would you guys do for right now in the United States? Having a socialist society doesn't seem to be the answer. So let me know your opinions down below. Otherwise, let's jump into the next segment. All right, guys, before we jump into the technical analysis, I have a couple of things to say. Uh, number one, yesterday's video was kind of iffy. Uh, I apologize for that. I was getting used to the camera and didn't really know exactly how to use it, but I've been doing tons of homework on how to get the video quality to look 10 times better. And guess what, guys, it is. Believe it or not, what was actually kind of funny was yesterday's video, I had the camera zoomed in too much, so it kind of messed everything up. I fixed that, so uh, I hopefully look a lot better now and less of a different color. I also was messing around with the ISO yesterday, so that's kind of what messed things up. Otherwise, if you guys pay your attention to the screen, you will notice that we had a huge milestone broken for uh, the channel. And I do want to address that. Today marks the day where we have finally uh, passed 1 million views on the channel. Now, that is absolutely awesome, and I do not know what to say. I couldn't have done this without you guys. Super, super, super excited, super happy. We have 1 million and 2,000 views. That is huge. Now, this is going to look like a small number in the next year or so, so I'm, I'm so impressed and so happy that we have finally, uh, without you guys, broke 1 million subscribers. Uh, as you guys can see also, 7,533 subscribers, or sorry, we have 1 million views. 7,500 subscribers. We're going to be headed towards 10K within the next month or two, 100%, and I will be doing a giveaway for you guys. So that's awesome. As for the ledger, like I said in uh, earlier in today's video, I will be doing an in-depth unboxing video review of that. I just kind of couldn't hold it in. I had to tell you guys. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. Link is in the description if you do want to check that out. Otherwise, moving on to today's episode. So we obviously are going to have to discuss what exactly is going on. Litecoin is, is pumping, guys. Litecoin is going so high. Uh, as you guys can see, as I load up this coin market cap, markets are green, guys, for the most part. Litecoin back in number four. That is huge, guys. Number four, we have $2.4 billion in volume. And I feel like it's all you know, tangled in with the Venezuelan move. So I do think that is a huge responsibility. And and you know influence from partnering or not even partnering with being involved with this whole venezuelan thing i'd love for you guys to comment on that let me know down below but litecoin number four 3.4 billion dollar market cap 57 dollars up 3.3 percent market is currently at 1.33 billion up 24 hour volume 
31. Bitcoin dominance declining slightly, 51.5%, not too bad. Uh, as I scroll down, you can see we do have a mix. We do have a wide variety of reds and greens, but most of the coins actually now nah, most of the coins are in green you can see up double digits most of them and we are doing very 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 well now uh you know take control of this bull market guys you want to make sure your cryptocurrency is safe you really do and you can't do that if you know things are all over the place so your best bet is to obviously get a ledger you know ledger is a huge brand it is the number one brand it is the first brand that i heard of when i you know got involved into cryptocurrency so uh huge shout out like i said to ledger and colin for setting this up um you know go cop a ledger guys it's going to keep your crypto safe they are so user friendly and so easy to manage i will be doing you know a video later on on how exactly to use that but also if you guys do want some free bitcoin on that subject and you do want to you know get free 25 dollars uh the second link in the description is a link to uh abra it is an awesome exchange that i've also partnered with they're doing a huge promotion right now and basically if you guys uh sign up for the app deposit five dollars from a u.s bank account they will send you 25 dollars of free bitcoin i've now had over 100 people take advantage of this so definitely do claim your 25 dollars and go deposit it in your ledger it's that simple um otherwise let's move on into the technical analysis aspect of today's episode so as you guys can see litecoin is doing phenomenal absolutely phenomenal i'm getting used to being able to see myself in the screen it's it's pretty cool uh also being able to position my green screen so it's not out of frame is pretty awesome as well but um once you guys notice there is a very interesting pattern forming here and a very big issue at that so you know there was an old uptrend that we were using which we did use as a support and it's currently acting as a resistance and that is kind of coming back to bite us in the ass now as you can see i'm zooming off into uh litecoin you see that there was an uptrend that we were following back in december and as we climbed that we ended up breaking bearish from it and you can see we had more resistance up here and what's interesting is we finally caught back up to that line of resistance and it's currently acting as a resistance once again you can see we managed to blow past using its high low mma on the four hour as a good you know supporting level and it pushed us up much higher the interesting part is we're now hitting this uptrend as a resistance the problem is I don't think we're going to go higher. I actually think uh, it's a very good time to take some profits as we decide to decline back down. I do think tomorrow and the next day we will see some lower levels. I could be wrong, guys. You know, if it proves me wrong, you know, m more power to it. But, you know, being that there is such a huge resistance at this uptrend and this resistance, a small decline back down to fifty dollars doesn't look you know half bad even down to 52 52 and change isn't that bad you know the fact that we're overbought on the four hour does raise some concern i did take profits and i am proud of it uh you can see we're nearing overbought right now so there is still potential for us to enter overbought market but i think if we do enter overbought we're only going to retest this resistance once again and then we're going to pull back down so I, in my personal opinion what i'm doing is i'm taking profits i do think that's smart to do you can see we do have the uptrend it is hitting resistance you can see obviously you know i'm not making this crap up and obviously if you guys want access to any of my exchanges and my sorry my my charts check out uh my community on patreon where you guys get access to all of my crypto cryptocurrency charts with live updates as well as my personal number if you did want to talk about crypto as well as uh exclusive videos specific for uh patreon so definitely check that out but you can see the resistance of this uptrend right here um moving on to bitcoin guys bitcoin having a very interesting struggle it's not really getting affected like uh litecoin is which is kind of interesting what we need to talk about you know we're going to see some sideways trading and truly, you know, we're kind of flatlined. You know, we're not really seeing much volume come into Bitcoin, but that is with due reason. I do believe in the longer term of things, we are going to trade out sideways as we're doing. We're going to hit this resistance. We're going to hit this downtrend. We're going to hit the high low MMA. We're going to use uh, 36 as well as 38 as a support. And we're going to, you know, challenge this descending triangle, this downtrend that has been on Bitcoin for over a year and like three months now. So this is going to be huge, guys. We're really going to have to see what exactly is going to happen. But this is going to, you know, cause a big, big, big move. And we're going to have to be ready and be prepared. So, you know, guys, alert yourself. Be aware of that. It is coming for Bitcoin. 
Same exact thing with Ethereum. Ethereum seems to be following Bitcoin more than Litecoin is. Now, the reason Ethereum is doing so is because Ethereum, I don't believe, could be sent to Venezuela. Maybe Bitcoin, uh, Litecoin is tied in with the Venezuela. It is. I don't know if Ethereum is, but you can see sideways trading. If not, Ethereum is tied in with Bitcoin. And you can see the sideways trading, no volume, sideways movement. That is an indication of a big move. So I'm expecting Bitcoin and Ethereum to take a parabolic move very, very, very soon. As we trade sideways, we will see that. Uh, so be prepared, guys. You know, lastly, to wrap up things, we did just discuss the three blue chip cryptos. We're going to discuss Digibyte, which I also feel like is tied in greatly with Ethereum and Bitcoin. We are in a symmetrical triangle that has been forming on Ethereum for over a year now. Huge. We are finally coming to wraps with that. You can see where we've had previous resistance right here, and we're currently getting caught right into here. We're going to trade out sideways. End of March, we're going to have a pretty big move. Either we're going to break bearish, fall all the way down to here, this level, potentially lower. We're going to see a massive break and a parabolic bullish movement all the way to the upside. So some pretty interesting things are coming guys um otherwise that's going to sum up today's episode you know if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications definitely check out the description for all the uh links to my other you know accounts but uh i guess i will see you guys in tomorrow's episode peace